Kusina fo mamuni na ha mbavya wifi fibi ya no ajo ene good morning. Black Stars of Ghana ebo Mozambique ni mi adoma echina na echina games no e simultaneously ebo we ni ebo we at the same time ni na no e mamuni na ebo ni same so Ghana will play Mozambique. Uh, at the same time, Egypt will play Kivet. Me and I eight p.m. Now we games up. Yeah, bit me as a see who near who say Ghana air qualify. At the call the next stage of the competition, and I say yeah, unko. And ra, there was a lot of stories. If you have you could say by say a brand and the day, then Lamati accord deleted all the pictures at their free Instagram. I mean, Black Stars pictures who who be ah, what deleted for? I mean. Sending a certain signal, say Daniel Amati, and you're happy with the kind of treatment a coach and then case switching at the air man on um, a lot of issues. And I'm about to find Daniel Amati granted interviews one or two. Watch, say it is not so, say it will be a bit active in that capacity. And then you're on the Daniel Amati in Tigana for Elmos and Sending. And I believe, say some of these stories are not for the sake of. Say, yeah, per qualification, this story is not here to distract him or any idea. In T, it will be a na, your corny, your honey, and also no, a si fa echo. Then the other tenor, and also when coach Chris Hutton, aye, aye, press conference ahead of Gimwa, Ebe Basono. Na press conference, no, a casa be be, gana chances, a normal gana be a bit more qualified at the accord, the next stage of the competition. In T, coach Chris Hutton, on a, 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 Dennis Odoi. We are uh, aware of the magnitude of this game. We, uh, we know that uh, if this is a game that, uh, that we have to win. Uh, our preparation going into the game has been uh, the same as uh, in the two previous games. And uh, all we can do is prepare the team to play a uh, very a tough match as all of these games are uh, and to make sure that we put in a level of performance that allows us to win the game. Denis, after drawing in the first two games, what did you correct? How did you prepare this game against Mozambique? We, drew the, we only drew the second game in even. Oh yeah, you lost the first one, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, important for us, I think, if you look at the performance from the, the second game in comparison to the first game, the performance was better. So we just need to look at the, at the game, analyze it, go over it as a team, uh, look at the things that went well, that were better, and things that we can still do better. And uh, hopefully we can just uh, keep growing and uh, put on a good performance uh, tomorrow. First question. Let's start from here, please. Hello. My name is Kwame Jumo. I'm from Ghana Television. My question goes to the head coach, Chris. Chris, we find ourselves in a very similar situation to the last half court. Losing our first game, drawing our second game, going into the final game where we needed a result to qualify. What's the conversation in the camp like ahead of this game against Mozambique on the back of that performance? Um, I, I, I think we are we are all aware that um, this is a this is a situation that we would rather not be in. You know, we would rather have more points, and, and we feel certainly from the performance and the and goals that we conceded that we should be in a, a better position. But we are not. So the the conversation is not difficult. This is a game we have to win. The level of performance, I think the, the players and I think most people appreciate that the level of performance uh, in our game against Egypt was better than our level of performance uh, in our first game with Cape Verde. So um, the players know, the players know what it will take to, to get a result. There, there are no easy games in this, uh, in this tournament and uh, we will come up against uh, a Mozambique team also knowing, also knowing that uh, they have to win the game. So uh, we have to be uh, physically and mentally prepared for this, and uh, and the players know this. Le rouge, c'est lui qui a rouge. 
Sutton Shaper and Powers Magazine uh, for uh, Chris. No doubt you know the history of Ghana being the African team of the 1960s and having won the tournament four times. Does that put more pressure on you to perform here, or do you just see it as, well, I'm here now, this is what we have to do, and uh, just uh, carry on, or is that pressure actually helping you? Um, no, I, th I think of the, um, the, uh, the pressure that you, you go into every tournament with, uh, I don't think it's a reflection of the past. We are, there isn't anybody that's associated with the Black Star that's, that's not conscious of um, the trophies that uh, we have won and um, the dominance in the past that uh, the team has shown in this, in this competition. Um, but this is a different year. There is always pressure. There's always pressure if you are a Black Stars head coach, and there's always pressure if you are a Black Stars player. This comes with the game. But, you know, we have a group of players, as does every team, that go into pressurised games at, at club level, albeit to, to win the league or to make sure they stay in the league or to stay in a cup competition, to stay in a European competition. So le levels of pressure uh, as head coach you're used to and also the players. And it comes, it comes with the job and you have to accept it uh, and you have to welcome it. Yeah. Um, I am Mustafa Nabila Atlai. Uh, I work with Joy FM in Ghana. My question goes to Dennis. Uh, I recall after the first game against uh, Kazadi, you did mention that um, you and your colleagues will need to be aggressive enough in, in, in your play. Um, based on your conversation with uh, the rest of the boys, what is the mentality like approaching that game against Mozambique tomorrow? Uh, I think. Uh yeah, after the, the, the first game, there were obviously some, uh, some, some issues that needed to be sorted. Uh, and I think if we look at the, at the second game, that was, uh, that was already much better. I'm thinking like in the first game, we had some issues with uh, players being available between the lines. And I think in the, in the, in the second, uh, second game, we were more compact. So there was, was less space for, uh, for Egypt to find the players in between the lines. And also if the lines are closer to one another, it's easier to press and you can be more aggressive. If the, if the lines are far apart, then you always get caught in between. So I think like off the ball against uh, Mozambique will do it. we really need to do the, the, the same thing. That's in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. No, should we see? No. But they won't. Listen. Thank you very much. My name is Atapoku from Ghana. This one goes to Chris. Since 2006, this is the Ghana team at the AFCON with the least of expectations internally about winning a trophy. Has that played into your preparations in any way? And where from the pressure to succeed all of a sudden coming from? Hmm. I, 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 I think I understand the question. Um, uh, I think there, there uh, is uh, uh, always a pressure uh, going into this tournament because we are the, the Black Stars. Um, I accept the first part of your question that, um, that uh, potentially going into this tournament the, the expectations uh, maybe were not as high as in previous years. So this I, um, I accept. Um, but for all of these questions and for any question that anybody asks about previous, about pressure now, um, we have to use that as motivation and uh, the players have to use that as motivation. And I would like to think that uh, after the first, first performance, um, we always know there will be criticism if we don't get the results that we want. And uh, I would like to think that the team used that in a positive way. And um, if 
uh, if the expectations are perhaps lower this tournament than they have been in previous tournaments, then exactly the same. We have to use this as, as motivation for, to make sure that we succeed in what our ambitions are. So after listening to both sides, you know, and uh, in some more coaching in the other channel, where will you draw a conclusion? Ghana, yes, stand a chance to be to qualify the Aquarian or a head next stage in an answer. Yeah, but I mean, we cannot be too sure. You bet me when you're in a bigger four points, Egypt, a win, you'll be five points, which means that you've read any um Egypt automatically. Woman, nobody can qualify a corner fee, yeah, but she or games are can now say bit my the third best place team and then so qualify at the aqua so they're doing the empire bomb and also will be a at the the black stars of ghana in every hour and normal thank you very much share the video like and comment